cultural traditions that combine to make our democratic society as great as it is. They each possess a deep personal vision of how they would like the world to be that's expressed in their work, through their craftsmanship, through their music, through their storytelling, through the dance. But with every action, there is also that deep commitment to heritage. The Heritage Fellowship Program is one of the longest lived honorific activities of the National Endowment for the Arts. It takes us closer than just about any other activity of the NEA to the essence of what we're all about as we try to bring the arts to the American people, recognize the value of creativity, recognize the value of cultural heritage. You know, my background is in the field of folk art. I had the pleasure of serving as a panelist for the National Endowment for the Arts at the very time that this program was being created. Uh, really in the mind of uh, one of the endowment's great leaders in the folk arts field, Bess Lomax Hobbs, who worked with Dan Sheedy, who was then her assistant, who was now a discipline director in folk arts with the endowment, to create this, this wonderful program. So it's been a great pleasure to me, first as an outsider, observing this agency, and now as chairman of the NEA, to watch our Heritage Fellowship Program grow. We congratulate each of these great artists. They represent the best of American creativity, and they represent a deep commitment to the past, which of course helps to bring artistic values, cultural values, not only into the present, but far into the future. I want to, I want to acknowledge the sponsors who have helped to make this entire event possible. And there are a number of activities that fill several days uh, that, that each bring special attention to the work of these great artists. Uh, Target Stores has been our partner for a number of years. I want to acknowledge Tila Michal and Chris Campbell, who are representing Target here today, and we are very grateful for, for their uh, sponsorship of this year's Heritage events. And they are, we feel, a model for corporate support of arts and culture in this nation. So I want to acknowledge Target Store and thank them for their support. <laughs> Self-esteem to have your part in the culture recognized. 
I've heard of Fisher Augustine before, but I never met him until this morning before that. So I want to congratulate him and congratulate you for recognizing him. In uh, Brooklyn, we have one of the largest Haitian communities outside of Haiti. Uh, we're the second largest Haitian American community uh, in America, second to Miami. So this being an ambassador for Haiti and our, our culture, he's right at home. And uh, we greatly appreciate this recognition. And congratulations, and congratulations to you for continuing this tradition.
from North Fork, California, a man of few words and many baskets, a prolific maker of Western mono native baskets, whose decorative cradle boards are functional, creative, and of great beauty. For his contributions to excellence in the art of Native American basketball, the National Government of the Arts honors Ulysses Good.
from Pensacola, New Jersey, a woman who was determined to keep her ornate and colorful Ukrainian weaving and embroidery traditions alive after fleeing her home in World War II and succeeded admirably in, in that text. For her contributions to excellence in the Ukrainian textile arts, the National Endowment for the Arts honors the Udokia Serokanyuk.
our democracy sometimes works and probably should work all the time. I lived for a number of years in the South, working in Nashville, Tennessee, looking closely at country music and so on, and playing with all those different traditions that have come together in the South, to give us blues, and roots of jazz, and, uh, roots of rock and roll, and country music, and roots of rhythm and lyrics, and gospel. The way the great black and white cultural traditions work together in the South, the way they created and around music in particular, the kind of safe states in which people can talk to each other across cultural lines. Clearly, that's the way the arts have worked in this country. And if you look at our heritage fellows, the multiple traditions that they represent, the way in which their individual contributions have advanced their individual cultural heritage, but also have influenced others to communicate with them. And if you have the privilege that that I've had is with Dan and others who have been with this group since they arrived Sunday afternoon. You get the sense of the way in which they can communicate and use their art, artistry, and I would say their warm personalities to communicate across cultural barriers, across distance, and really erase those distances. And so, you know, Carter from Baldacci talked about arts being the main course, not an appetizer or, or dessert. And I think the more we understand about the way in which our art making in this country is the most perfect metaphor for the way we like our democracy to work. As we understand this, we're going to bring, bring the arts from the margin, bring them into the center. So as the endowment carries out its work, um, six eight two five six seven eight. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's one of those. One of those. Uh, 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 any work? Yeah, I think I think everybody understands now that we're waiting for uh, first lady. Apparently, on her way. Not a way. Once we get
Their guardianship will ensure the preservation of these traditions for generations to come. That is why the NEA's investment in our living cultural heritage is so important. The National Heritage Fellowships and new initiatives like Arts Reach and Challenge America are more than ever bringing people and communities across our country in touch with one another and with beloved traditions. So I thank each of the award winners for your commitment, for nurturing your talents and our traditions, for serving as a living link to America's rich <coughs> cultural past, and as a light and a guide to the unlimited possibilities of our future. From the President and myself and from our nation, thank you very much.
<laughs> Mes compliments. <laughs> Prisoner, somebody could do. Yeah. Huh? No, 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 let no. Me do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's running. Just press. Not, no, just press no. don't press anything. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to say let me tell you. Yeah, It's so nice. Yeah. And I'll take a picture. Yo, I, let me get a picture of the two of you together. Yeah. That's my son. Two of us. Oh, oh, wonderful. <laughs> Look here. And then we're going to get a picture for us too, for me. <laughs> With them. This, this one is for you. For you. Okay. We'll go home to you, you in New York. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tilt the head of it down. Good. Look right here. Good. One more. Fabulous. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Ja.
everybody in Brooklyn is a doctor, is a real doctor. And uh, you know, you have a program on Channel 54. And I have to help uh, Flaubert. But Flaubert helped me with on one hand and Rush on the other hand. So now we're going to be, uh, keep on get inside. Uh, Inside and you see a beautiful painting, a beautiful art as an Indian, a beautiful art over here. So, uh, God bless America because uh, I'm working hard. I remember that I was a uh, struggle and hate. Talking bad about the, the culture, about the roots. But today is gonna be my day. And with, you know, my, you know, with my culture. And all fans and all friends I have, all friends I have, they're like my family. The candle. You don't light the candle for nothing. You light the candle for something deeply. And you don't put the water on the ground for nothing. Tana is to light the candle and look at the mirror. And a lot of people thought uh, Augustine is crazy. Augustine is not crazy. Tama come to New York, 1972, I have one candle, I light one candle, but that candle it was my family, now I created family, I created Stephen, Steve did. Kessler Pierre and Donald Creole. Nous faisons tout le monde ensemble et nous toujours qu'il y ait un ballon. Que ce soit quand il m'arrive, que ce soit quand il m'arrive, nous toujours achetons un ballon. Moi, je me dis, ok, mais c'est ça même. Nous faisons toujours. Parce qu'il m'a remis. Les mourus, on a un bus, des fils d'Augustin, qui vous parle de petit monde qui est capable de faire photo de fils qui s'est fait pour tant de fois ici. Moi, je respecte pour petit monde, même si je me dis que je suis comme ça. Je me dis que je suis tout le monde. Il faut tout le monde qui a un temps pour la donne. Mais tant que nous ne sommes pas faits, nous avons tout l'entourage de Fisner, tout l'entourage de Makanda, tout l'entourage de Racine Haïtien, pour nous faire un bis. Pour moi, pour ça, pour nous mettre dans le quartier de Fisner. Et pour tout le monde, vraiment, je ne veux pas faire ça. Encore, nous avons fait le travail de la chaise. La chaise pour le chita. Je ne peux pas croiser les pieds comme ça. Je ne peux pas mettre les mains dans ma chouette. Je ne peux pas calculer les gens qui ne connaissent pas les gens. Les gens qui ne connaissent pas les gens. C'est non mieux. C'est un bois, c'est qu'elle. Et bien, je dis à Frisner Augustin, levé un défi à Washington. Vous faites tout le bagaille. Vous voyez là, vous l'avez gardé. Vous l'avez gardé encore ici. Vous avez deux bagailles là. Okay, you.
bagay le pegi sempre o mundo de mori na família de do pigao enterrel boulel o mete sana a poussière o mete lá moi même le mori dans mes kisler avec Steve Jonathan Mary Edlin Lois Walken le mori pour acheter un tambour avec Gary Auguste mon fils pour mettre mon tambour ta il va bien se comprendre il va bien se mettre dans tête yo vous avez bien parlé au mal Au papa, au papa qui t'a rien, qui a dit son tambour l'enterré. Mais c'est moi qui dis, shampoo, qui se les pierres, enterré. Le homme mourit, c'est notre local comme ça. Le le la guéri, le fait une balle de nuit à pire. Tout cela, c'est tiwa. En Haïti, il y a un mois comme ça. Il y a un mois comme ça en Haïti. Parce qu'il y a, quand il y a, il y a un mois comme ça. 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 Il y a un tableau comme ça. Un tableau. Avec un cheval, avec un cowboy soli, avec deux baleines. Baleine, c'est clété, racine aussi. Baleine. On va le clé plus bien que nous. Lumière. Frisler Auguste. Je dis à mon papa, je suis fort si moi. Je ne suis pas là, je ne vais pas mettre mes mains. Au nom de Tambour. Je ne vais pas parler de pays, je ne vais pas parler de Haïti. Je ne vais pas parler de Haïti à Maison Blanche. Sans que ce n'est pas politique. Ce n'est pas candidat pour la présidence, ce n'est pas candidat pour le général, ce n'est pas candidat pour... Quel qu'il en soit place, avec mon tambour, je fais tout ce que je veux. Ao Chenago. Ao Chenago. Ao Chenago. Negna Boti Kouche. Ah oui. Fristère Auguste. Ça va faire là. C'est un boumouin qui mette moi là. Fiste Auguste, ça va faire là. C'est un boumoué qui mette moi là. Ou pas dormi, Fiste, ou pas dormi. Déjà son temps bouillé, pas qu'à dormir. Fiste, ou. C'est un bouillé moyen qui mette moi là. Son tambour, c'est pas piano. C'est pas flûte. Il y a une flûte ici. Une flûte américaine. Une flûte américaine. Une cheval. Une angel. Je suis haïtien. 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 Nous pas venir avec. It's New York, we're going to have a good time. Fils de Auguste, ça va faire. C'est un bon. Fils de Auguste, ça va faire. C'est un bon. Dès qu'il est lié, il est déjà mignon. 
la minuit sonné, c'est là pour nous marcher. Fils le c'est un bouillé ouillé, où il veut là. Fils de l'homme, ça va faire là. C'est dans le bout, où il n'y a pas. Où pas dormi, fils de l'homme, pas dormi. Déjà, on t'a mouillé. Basta dormir, fils de l'homme. C'est dans le bout. Et de là, nous pas dormir, nous ne pas dormir, mais là, son tombouillé, pas ça dormir, nous ne pas dormir, nous ne pas dormir. You know, reflection doesn't. Oh, I know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. But if you look at it, it's signed by Benjamin Franklin oh. and John Hancock. You know, I mean, it's like, wow, this is like the real stuff here. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. I guess that's then, why we have to go this, through the metal detector and all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see what comes out. But oh my goodness, man! No smoking, please. <laughs> Let me just zoom in on that. This side. It's a, um, on this desk in Paris. It's it's an incredible place. Oh my goodness! Wow. Well. Uh, it's, it's what we lived in. Oh yes. People were watching you about to go to Washington, right? Yeah. Well, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Too much. And I thought, you know, Ina, and so, you know, out of embarrassment, we, we sort of corrected all of those. Oh, that's great. This is great for ladies' room. His brother lives in Vienna. Mm. Sure. Yeah. And the National Science Foundation. So we saw him, and he gave us some tips, you know, look for this, look for that. And then we said, oh. we have to come back. We yeah. just have to well, see. Well, now you know. we know what to see, yeah. I guess. Well, you know, what you want to see. What do you see? Because there's. Okay. Yeah, it's just endless. It is. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's just and the furniture. Oh, this is a nice one over here. Who is this? This is. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know who it is, but it's an impressionist story. Yeah. Hmm. And the one next to it is really good. Over here, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. No, I, I, I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is beautiful over here. Isn't that what we That is actually, yeah. uh, I can't remember who that is, but he's really famous. The letter. Um, tar Tarbell? Yeah, Tarbell. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. This place to, um, oh, hey, that's that interesting pretty? too, yeah, yeah. Let's see, we got, uh, let's see if I can read it on the camera here. Richard Oriole? Mm, not really sure. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty. Hmm. Mm.
works, what just about everybody calls him, and that is one of the world's greatest percussionists, Mr. Saki Hussain.
hoping that that would become uh, one of the little streams of the river that is the culture of the future in this country. And so thank you all very much, and I hope that uh, as uh, Mr. Slide said, the good word stays good. <laughs>
stand on their shoulders. And I want you to know, I want you to just keep on standing tall, doing the good work. Um, what's the lady's name, Moki, over here? Just, yeah, El Moki. Continue to work that work, and because there will be millions that shall follow us and pick up the torch and run with it. Thank you so much.
And I want to thank all these people for uh, for recognizing that. And thank you all for a, for a wonderful trip to Washington.
live with her husband because he'll probably say, I'm too cool now. <laughs> I'm so happy to be 
here today. I'm waiting for that time. Time I was seven years old. Time I was seven years old, and I look the situation my mother live and my sister live. And I say I have to do something and to help my family. And only one thing I will do is learning how to play music and to help my family. Because you know my country is really hard and, and to survive you have to be the man if you turn your inside you want a stomach you have to keep learning something then you get out and to get something ready for you to help your soul and your heart and your country and your roots and I used to see my mother crying sometimes she don't have money to make some coffee and I say mom one day I'm gonna help you because I'm a musician I know how to play music one day I will help you God bless America. Good evening. Please welcome the 1999 National Heritage Fellows. From Haiti to Brooklyn, New York, Frisner Augustin. From Black River Falls, Wisconsin, Lila Greengrass Blackbeard. From Durham, North Carolina, Shirley Caesar. From Federal Way, Washington, Alfredo Campos. From Shields, North Dakota, Mary Louise, Defender Wilson. From Hanson, Massachusetts, Jimmy Sly. From North Fork, California, Yuli Good. From Ava, Missouri, Bob Holt. From India, to San Anselmo, California, Zakir Hussein. From Trinidad to Morgantown, West Virginia, Ellie Manette. From Ireland to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Mick Maloney. From Ukraine to Pensacola, New Jersey, Eudokia Sorkanyo. And from Southwest Harbor, Maine, Ralph W. Stanley, the 1999 National Heritage Fellows. Good evening, I'm Nick Spitzer from Public Radio International. Welcome to this annual gathering of some of the most creative, devoted, and revered members of our American cultural family. We're here to honor, celebrate, and learn from a boat builder from Maine, a Southern African-American gospel singer 
a Native American storyteller of the Northern Plains, a North Indian drummer from California, an Ozark fiddler, and many others, and this should be a great night. Together, these folks offer 13 unique, time-honored ways of bringing beauty into our lives. They represent just a tiny fraction of the thousands of deeply rooted traditions that can be found all over this country. The award these artists received on Capitol Hill two days ago, the National Heritage Fellowship, is given by one of the smallest but best known of the federal agencies, the National Endowment for the Arts. Chairman of the endowment is Bill Ivey. He's a folklorist, and as a folklorist, he knows well the power and beauty and importance of these root cultures that nurture our nation's creative life. He speaks often of the value of creativity and of preserving our nation's living cultural heritage. And we need to look no further to know the truth of his words than to meet the National Heritage Fellows. Each of the fellows is a living library of artistic knowledge, a representative of a cherished tradition, and an extraordinary artist. So, why don't we begin by meeting one of them? Today, about one of every 12 Americans come to this country from another land. Born in Haiti, Frisner Augustin is only one of 20 million people uh, who have come from abroad. But what an amazing difference just one person can make, especially when you look at the life of Frisner Augustin, almost a one-man cultural movement. He is the major force in bringing the Haitian community together in this country. Mr. Augustin is a drummer, a teacher, and an advocate for upholding the Haitian traditions that he loves. He remembers learning to drum on a water bucket as a young boy when his mother sent him to bring water from the well. But I might add, he also dipped into the deep well of Haitian tradition uh, to learn the musical and religious practices that are central to Boudin, which is the religion brought by his ancestors from West Africa. When he came to the United States, he was just shocked to discover how much misinformation was on about Haiti was out there in the world, uh, portrayed as a country of witch doctors and black magic. And right then he made it his lifelong passion to let all Americans know the positive values of Haitian uh, religion, arts, and culture. Please welcome Frisner Augustin. Bonsoir. Bienvenue, monsieur. Glad you're here. Frizzer and I have worked together a little bit over the years. Please welcome National Heritage Fellow Frisner Augustin, he says I'm here. 